The silver price and gold price could be destroyed after the next Fed meeting. Yes, the Fed has that much power. Like it or not, the Federal Reserve, if we measure the value, the price of our gold and silver and fiat paper, U.S. dollars, the Federal Reserve has more power over the price of silver and gold, at least for now, than any other factor. In this video, we're going to talk about the likelihood that the Fed could possibly even raise rates by half a percent and how that could wreak havoc, devastation on the silver price and gold price. And we're going to look at the ridiculousness of it all when it comes to the Fed. Have you been pretty happy with the gold price and silver price since late last year? The price of gold up almost 25%, hovering around $2,000. The price of silver up from $18 mid last year, all the way to $25 right now. But then, but then the Fed starts to drop what I'll call a cluster bomb just in the last week. Let's talk about how and why that happened. I put out a new video for you every day offering perceptive insights into the world of silver and gold. As a matter of fact, at the end of this video, there's a key takeaway, something we can learn and realize and feel comfortable about with our silver and gold investments. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you. I understand the older you get, the harder it is to remember. But let's take a quick look back. Just a few years ago, the Federal Reserve printed money like a drunken sailor. Hey, the silver price and gold price, they loved that back in 2020. Gold reached an all-time high. But then when things slowed down, we started to get a little inkling about inflation, right? And remember, the Fed, they had printed like a drunken sailor. They were slurring their words, telling us we don't have to worry about inflation. And oh, inflation, it's, it's temporary. And then it was, oh, inflation, it's transitory. And then they sobered up and inflation became a big, big problem. The silver price and gold price love inflation. However, they were the only sober people at the party and they see around the corner. They sniff things out before the drunken sailors who are printing like crazy. So the price of gold and silver knew that tight money policy would be coming. So through 2021, the price of gold and silver started to struggle a little bit. And then... When the Fed finally sobered up in 2022, they embarked on the most aggressive tightening policy in history, raising interest rates at a rate that we've never seen in history. First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada, Springpole in Ontario and Duparquet, located in Quebec. Each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves, but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well-financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. The silver price and gold price struggled until they realized that the Fed was getting towards the end of the road, that Jerome and his friends were boxed in. And then the gold price and silver price started to rise. And then things started to break. We had a little banking crisis here in the United States, an emergency meeting over the weekend between the Federal Reserve and the Treasury Department, Emerger emergency measures taken to deal with, to paper over the fact that our banking system is in big trouble in this country. The assets that most of the big major banks are way down in value. So gold and silver sniffing that out, were performing very well. Well, they papered that problem over, and that brings us to today. Welcome to today. And last week, they rolled out the Fed governors, right? It's like a comedy troupe. It was like a cluster bomb dropped from the big Fed mothership. He sends out his Fed governors. They give speeches, all of them now suddenly 
refocused on inflation and the fact that we are going to need to raise rates higher, raise rates higher. And that led right up till today, which starts the Fed blackout period. So we won't hear a word from the Fed until their May meeting in a week and a half. At that point, if they raise rates a quarter of a percent, eh, the gold and silver market, I would imagine gold, for instance, will stick around the 1900 to 2000 range. Silver will stay somewhere in the 2350 to 25 range. But if they get real aggressive and they do a half point rate hike, all bets are off. We could see precipitous drops in the price of both silver and gold. But can they do that? Can they actually raise rates? Can they raise them a quarter of a percent? Can they raise them a half of a percent? We saw already that what they've done so far has caused, caused major tremors within the banking industry. What would these additional rate hikes do to the interest that needs to be paid on the $32 trillion in U.S. government debt? What about people, individuals' credit card debt, right? The consumer is being constricted. The consumer already has record levels of credit card debt, and they're paying record high interest rates on that debt. The big takeaway for us from all this is to remember that the price of gold, the price of silver, they're really, really smart. They look out into the future. They just don't look around the first corner. They look around the second corner as well. So when they see what's coming six months or a year from now, right, they know they're smart. They know the Fed is in a box. They know that mathematically the price of gold and price of silver have to go much higher. And that's just what they'll do. We may have some temporary bumps in the road, bumps on the runway before the silver price and gold price take flight, but it will happen. Hey, thanks for joining me. Watch another video if you like, but most important, be well, and I'll see you soon.